And then, I want to slash open the wombs of the mothers that birthed you and stuff you back in it! YouTube. YouTube, look. When you're going over the monetization process, don't hold this episode against me, bro. There's tons of other episodes you can hold against me. Don't hold this one, bro. I, I had nothing to do with it, I promise. We're back. Shut up. There you are. So, everyone here is so nice. There's nothing to worry about, right? Wrong. There's plenty to worry about. If these irritating cowards are nice people, <laughs> this world must not be made up of bad people. What? <laughs> and that stranger danger warning would no longer be needed. Okay, just making sure. I, I need to make sure we were here. <sighs> Such an amazing world. That's the epitome of my ideal. What? I was being sarcastic. <laughs> no monokumas, bro. I mean, with the exception of you. It's about time we went back to the important stuff. Yep. This place is used as a conference room, so let's talk inside. Bet. Big bet. How the hell? What? Y'all see that shadow? The hell? Huh? He's not here. He's usually here, though. Who we talking about? Who's not here? The leader of the resistance. I wanted to introduce you guys to him. What? Can you wait here a little while? I'm sure he'll be back soon. Oh, I'm tired of waiting. Leader? He's probably some old geezer who thinks he can run the show. I won't hold my breath. You like old geezers. And you like folks that think they can run the show. That's Kuya in a nutshell. What kind of leader would a pitiful place like this even have? Definitely a useless old man. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, that's not untrue. If he really is a superior man, he would be in a superior organization. Just like Master. You better not start busting all over my screen, Toko. Kuya! You better not! Just clean this shit. And you shouldn't have high expectations either, Omaru. <laughs> she really... She really don't want to put a K in front of your name. I like that Omaru better, though, to be honest with you. Expectations? What kind of expectations? And you responded to it, too. You just accepted of Omaru. That's crazy. Ooh. 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 The victims and the missing are divided into two lists. They're both pretty long. It's not even murder at this point. This is war. The kids call it revolution. That's just semantics. Exactly. Call it whatever name you please. In the end, there's still a mountain of bodies. Kids just being kids. But by calling it a revolution, they justify it in their minds and become even more brutal. There's nothing worse than an idiot who justifies their idiocy. Trust me, I know. By how you're talking, you seem to know these brats pretty well. Well, I mean, look at the scars. Look at the bandages. You're 
talking about the warriors of hope who lead the Monokuma kids, right? <laughs> no, nah, we talking about kids next door, bruh. You know, with Nigel and Abigail. From what I know, they were apparently students of an elementary school affiliated with Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak Academy? Why would that name come up now? <laughs> what? Bro, relax. What's going on? What about it? Did something happen before? Yeah, just tell the story. Not just something, but forget about it for now. It's a very long story. <laughs> what? <laughs> but more on the subject, I never expected the academy to also have an elementary. They're not technically affiliated. Attending Hope's Peak Academy still requires being scouted. But the elementary was still prestigious. Many Hope's Peak Academy students came from there. Even Toko and Kuya? Cap. The elementary studied the talents of children. Only child prodigies could attend. And how exactly are they prodigies? They're just a bunch of mental brats. So are you. You're a mental brat too. I guess that just shows that having a great mind does not always make a great person or a child. A child's talent can easily be corrupted into something evil. Those five are the worst example. Actually, the warriors of hope were all in the classroom with the trouble children. Troublemakers, huh? Just as I thought. They were all deviants from the start. It might be more accurate to say that they own talent not even the teachers could control. And what makes it more horrifying is that they're still kids. They kill without guilt or mercy. You remember what you were like when you were children? How many cool things you did? Itoko? Insane because they're too pure. Uncontrollable because they're too innocent. Children with more potential than adults. With such cruel natures. How horrifying it would be if they were truly out of control. Toa City is an example of that. Toa City. You. You think it's fun to threaten us? Tomorrow, would you got background music playing in your mind or something? It's not like that. I'm just trying to tell you to be careful. Hm. That's none of your business. <laughs> she said, no, nah, I don't do careful. I don't do careful at all, bro. <sighs> I gotta check all of these. <sighs> Everyone is dead. Oh, well, game over. See you guys next time. Everyone got killed. The sound of chanting. The screaming like dogs being choked. Never leaves my ears. Everyone got killed. Everyone got killed! Ah! Devils! The devils in the bodies of children! Damn devils! 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 <coughs> <laughs> Damn. Devils. I want to grind down your organs, your heart, liver, your kidneys, everything into dust. I want to throw you all into a blender and turn you all to slushy livestock feed. Damn. I want to stab your eyeballs with a pencil until I can write with your blood. Jeez. I want to boil you alive in a pressure cooker until your screams stop. <laughs> YouTube, I swear it ain't me. <laughs> you see, you see the dialogue. It ain't me, bruh. I do not advocate violence on this channel. I swear I don't. I want to squeeze your little bodies until blood leaks from every pore on your skin. And then, I want to slash open the wombs of the mothers that birthed you and stuff you back in it. YouTube. YouTube, look. You're going over the monetization process. 
don't hold this episode against me, bro. There's tons of other episodes you can hold against me. Don't hold this one, bro. I, I had nothing to do with it. I promise. The, the writing's really sloppy after this. I can't read it. You read enough. We read enough, bro. That's quite a poetic style they have there. Look at her. So she getting turned on already, bro. She already getting turned on. PlayStation? Should have come up brought in three new people. I feel happy, but at the same time, scared. I wonder how many adults are killed above ground. How many of them got saved? How many bodies are lying there? Squid games? Thanks to the newbies screaming, sleepless nights continue. From what I can tell, in his dream, his friend gets killed by kids, and he screams out. I can kind of understand how he feels. I can't blame him. Okay. The newbie finally broke. Uh-oh. Even though he's a grown adult, he ended up acting like a newborn baby. <laughs> they babyfied this dude. <laughs> Dang, good. Huh? He lost against his nightmares to the kids. Till he became one. That's crazy. Looking at the scenery forces me to realize that even though I'm here, I couldn't run. Every time a newbie is brought in, my despair increases. I can't even run, nor forget. The children will kill us all. It's. I want to put the Billy input in so bad. For Billy and Mandy, I want to so bad. This I might. This is pretty intense. Just reading it makes me dizzy. Not the first, bro. The other two lockers? Did you not see that? That dude was very descriptive in his plan of attack. That was worse than this. Yo, yeah, this guy. I heard you were looking for me. Uh, hi, G. I heard you went outside again without my permission. Didn't I tell you it's dangerous? So, two more newcomers? Name's Haiji Toa. I'm the leader of the resistance here. What a surprise. He's pretty handsome. <laughs> And just like that, uh, Kuyahu. I hope we get along well. I'm Kamara Nayagi. Kuyahu? Uh, um, so, a girl who's filthy and a girl who's clean. Which one do you prefer? Um, if your last name is Toa, does that mean that. Yeah, from the Toa family. Haiji's father is a chairman of Toa Group. Did they just interrupt Toko or did I miss that? Prefer. I, I, I sworn that's what she was gonna say. I'd assume the guy would want a clean chick. What? Then you're a son of a distinguished family? And the Toa group too. You must be very. <laughs> ah, I'm getting a little hot from all this excitement. I don't mind if you help me cool. What the f <laughs> Yo! Fufu! Fufu, you good? <laughs> Got it. Leave it to my special cooling device. Huh? <laughs> ah. ah. What the? I, I didn't ask you. Well, I'll tell you right now, I don't have status or money or anything. Those kids took it. The bear was only trying to help Fufu. Oh damn, I'm reading that now. This dude said he lost everything. Thanks to them I lost everything. Toa group. Even the whole damn Toa city. Damn, cuz. That's tough. Uh, by the way, uh, do you happen to know who's uh, leading the children? Toko, I swear. <laughs> 
Yo. Okay, you just got a thing for folks that's got a lot of status. Got it. Who knows? Then, do you maybe know why Toa City became a target? Toko's kind of a gold digger. Got it. Sorry, but I don't really know much about Toa's situation. Didn't really do anything there. And the one who would have all the answers, my dad. He's been missing since the riots. Missing? I, I'm the same. I don't know where my parents are either. No, oh, careful. That's going to set Toko off. So I... I want to go home no matter what. Please, tell me how to get out of this city. Well, if there is a way to escape, I'd love to know. Hey, you got an arm just like Shirokuma. What happened to you? Huh? All the roads that connect to the outside are blocked completely. And it wouldn't matter anyway. That wristband. Those kids put it on you, right? Yep. I know it will explode if I try to leave, but does anyone know how to take it off or something? N no? I want to help, but I'm sorry. It's just not possible. However, no need to get too down about that. You got one too? At least this place is safe. Those brats don't even know this place exists. You're telling us just to hide here? It's not like you can escape anyway. Staying put and keeping quiet is the best move right now. You're... you're right. At least as long as I'm here, there's no need to worry. But y'all sending this bear out on recon missions to get clapped up by Mona Kumas to save other adults just to bring them here. What if I get overpopulated? <laughs> Y'all need to be strategizing down here. <laughs> I need to relax. For once, I, I agree with Toko. We need, like, strats here. Y'all can't just be sitting here wasting away. Hmm? Isn't this a resistance? An organization created to fight these little brats, right? She really got over her horniness. I am more impressed with that than her giving this pep talk right now. Then why don't you just fight? Fight? That'd be suicide. We have no guns. See this arm? Your arm? Did a Monokuma do it? Yeah. Got crushed. Crumbled up like paper. The whole thing only took a split second. And those Damn. brats were... laughing. Like it was fun to them. While I was screaming, bleeding. They're not kids. Not anymore. They're devils. He wrote that shit in a notebook. Devils. Well, the bright side is, even my nerve endings were crushed, so I don't even feel the pain. <laughs> That's one way to look at it, bro. <laughs> of course, that just means it'll never fully heal. So basically, your will got shattered along with that arm of yours, right? Huh? Damn. And that's why you're sitting here, moping and pitying yourself, right? A few minutes ago, she thought this dude was handsome. But once she sees the... The scrub inside the scrubs. She's back to the regular. What the? You sure got harsh. She don't like you no more. Th that nice girl act was just for your benefit. I got information now using my womanly charm. <sighs> Good job, Toko. Huh? An act? <laughs> Kamaru, Kamaru. Good job, Toko. Of course, I belong to Master Biakia only. There's no way I'd give my heart to some mole of a man hiding underground like a coward. <laughs> it's not like 
I'm going to hide forever. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Excuses. Save them for your psychiatrist. That's Shirokuma, right? What's the point of fighting back knowing that you die? It's all for nothing if you're dead. Well, see, I'd agree with, you know, not doing stupid shit for the sake of doing stupid shit. But this wouldn't be stupid shit. Stupid shit would be to waste away. So technically, you guys aren't going to fight, and then you guys are just sitting here and rotting. Nothing is getting done about the devils. So therefore, you're gonna die regardless. The way you are now, you might as well be. What me and Toko are here today? What is going on? Toko, that's too far. But it's true though, like <laughs> they're just gonna die regardless. So you either go out fighting or you waste away. It's there's no in between. I'm saying it to you too. Huh? Huh? <laughs> with this game <laughs> weren't you going to fight against those brats what are you doing sympathizing with these people and we got the gun and plot armor yeah okay maybe you are just an average common ordinary character with no special talents well damn they cut me deep toko a drab girl who lacks presence and charm with no athletic or intellectual skills okay see now now you're projecting but what's wrong with that? Huh? Someone who just keeps making excuses and doesn't even try to fight back? True. You're worse than dead. Totally worthless. <clears throat> Send him to the Shadow Realm, Toko! Let's go! Why are you being so cruel? It's not cruel, it's realistic, y'all... Like, we got the gun, Komaru. This is what my gripe with you this entire gameplay. You have took out Boss and Monokuma's all the same. How the hell do you think the fight is still hopeless? You of all people who've actually accomplished something in this damn game. How in the world can you sympathize with what this guy is talking about? You have the best chance of anybody. We plot armor strong. And you don't believe it. Normally, I hate Toko, because she'll get you all hyped up, and then she'll just take you right back down, like, on some dumb shit. But, right now, we here! Ow. Uh, hey, now. I'm sure Toko didn't mean it like that. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, you did. Just looking at you frustrates me. Damn. You remind me of myself in the past. What? You didn't act nothing like that in the old game, bruh. I mean, you were still kind of annoying, but at the very least, you tried to put up a fight. <laughs> what? No matter how much pain or despair you feel, nothing will change if you keep denying it. True. So why don't you just try to change it yourself? No matter how scary the situation was, he faced it head on and moved forward. Big Mac! Thanks to that, I'm alive today. Big Mac! W what are you talking about? Because it ain't cool, you. she didn't get moist. Rushing forward at full speed with no hope of success isn't courage, it's stupidity. Well, being too scared to move isn't brave or smart, it's. Cowardice. So. Wh who's stupid? Well, do you have a plan? We have a gun. And this is a serial killer, by the way. You show them some damn respect. You might end up getting, you know, posted up on the wall somewhere. With all kinds of skizzers. Do you know of some way to get out of here? Do you know how to remove a wristband? Do you know how to write your name with one arm? 
Yeah, of course. Uh, I I'm sure future foundation technology can get it off easily. Uh, wait. Ooh, this is coming back to me. I don't think this is gonna go well. Huh? Ah, uh, I was just saying. It's not like we can contact Future Foundation anyway. Wait, hold on. What did you just say about Future Foundation? Oh, he's mad now. Don't tell me you're just gonna leave it up to those guys. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, um, Toko is a member of Future Foundation. What? What did you say? Hi, G. If that's the case, then I'm sorry, but get the fuck out of here. I refuse to cooperate with you. Damn! Uh, hey! What happened? Why did he get angry all of a sudden? He don't mess with Future Foundation. Hold up, what happened, bro? Talk to me. Let's go. Huh? But if he told us to get out. We can't stay here. Y you're right, but... Hmm. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here. That was a lot. We got one more locker to open. Let me open this locker real quick. Let me see what's in here. Then I'm gonna end the episode. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. That was creepy. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. What the hell am I doing? I don't ask for likes or subscribes. What is happening to me lately? I don't like it. Peace. Peace.